for some of you, this walking and running challenge may really be forcing you to step out of your comfort zone. So I wanna share my first ever marathon story with you. Hi guys, I'm out here at my favorite time of day. If you haven't tried running at dusk yet, it is absolutely beautiful and peaceful and calming and an incredible way to end your day with just meditation and reflection. And I wanna share some thoughts with you on challenges and getting out of your comfort zone because for some of you walk this walking and running challenge may really be forcing you to step out of your comfort zone so i want to share my first ever marathon story with you i signed up for a marathon after not exercising at all for six years I had done nothing, maybe occasionally gone on a very short jog with my kids in the stroller. I had four kids and was working and exercise didn't seem to have a place in my life. Then I made a decision that I wanted to get back in shape and I chose a marathon because I knew it was a goal that would obligate me to train and I started training. But again, all I wanted to do was cross the finish line of the marathon. I did not have any time goal at all. Training was going well. And about a month before I ran my race, my husband turned to me and said, you know, you don't wanna just cross the finish line of the marathon. You wanna know when you cross the finish line that you gave it your all. You did the best possible time you could. And I remember looking at him almost insulted, like, are you crazy? If I cross the finish line of the marathon, that's a huge deal. What more do you want from me? And my husband knows I'm a, you know, competitive person and I guess at that point he knew me better than I did. And he said like, no, you wanna know that when you cross the finish line, you really did the best possible time you could. And I said, what do you have in mind? He said, why don't you do a half marathon time trial? See what you can do on the half marathon. We'll plug that number in a race predictor and it will tell us what you should be capable of in a full marathon. And I remember I was so hesitant because I didn't want any pressure right? I don't want to do something too challenging for me. I was really nervous. And I finally agreed. I did my half marathon, timed, you know, my own race, just ran 13 loops around Gan Soccer Park in Jerusalem and came back and told my husband, it took me an hour and 41 minutes. And he said, based on that, you should be able to run the marathon in three and a half hours. And I remember when I heard that, I said, you're nuts. And it seemed crazy and I was terrified because my husband's telling me I am going to do run a distance I've never run before in my life at a pace an eight minute mile I was not running on most of my runs and it was extremely scary it would mean doing something that was not comfortable for me it would mean stepping out of my comfort zone it would mean taking a risk where I didn't know whether I was going to succeed or fail my husband was super supportive, went out and bought me a running watch and basically didn't give me a choice. And guess what? I followed his plan to the T, wore my watch, ran the split. And on that day, I crossed the finish line in three hours and 27 minutes. But it was the most eye-opening experience for me because I realized if I hadn't taken that risk and stepped out of my comfort zone, I never would have discovered the gift lying within me, the gift I had of running. Because you know what? Most people don't show up to their first marathon after training for four months and run a three and a half hour marathon of Boston qualifying time. And I recognized that this wasn't just, this was a gift from God, but I only discovered that part of myself because I challenged myself and stepped out of my comfort zone. And that's what I've realized. The greatest growth in life happens when we step out of our comfort zone. And if it doesn't challenge me, it doesn't change me. And so in those moments, when you're struggling, when it feels difficult, when you wonder, why is God sending me this test? I've learned to say, this challenge is an opportunity. And I ask myself, what can I learn about myself from this? How am I gonna grow from this? How is this gonna take me to the next level of self-development and allow me to become a better version of myself? Because every challenge you go through is truly a gift. It's a blessing in disguise for you to become the best possible version of you.